air version off the floor. Keith Lang covers transportation issues for the Hill. Keith Lang, what's changed since the when the House and Senate went in recess and uh, late this week? Well, they um, right before the recess, the uh, Republican leaders in the House hit hit some roadblocks. Um, they, it, it became clear they didn't have the votes to get this bill off the floor. Um, they were they were getting hit from the left and the right on the bill. There were conservative groups that argued that it spent too much money because it spent uh, about twelve to thirteen billion dollars more per year on um, road and transit projects than the Highway Trust Fund brung in brings in every year. And there were uh, Democrats who were arguing that the bill didn't spend enough and included some public transportation cuts and cuts to things like uh, sidewalks and green space. So right before they went into the recess, the leaders pulled the bill from the floor. They were scheduled to vote on it before they left last week. And uh, yesterday, they uh, made clear that they will probably look to make the bill smaller, um, maybe around a two-year bill. They're going to remove some of the provisions about public transportation and uh, try to uh, try again to see if they can get to 218. So the House bill originally had been a five-year bill. The Senate year, a two-year bill. So this final product in the House is going to look a lot more like the Senate bill then. Well, the, the House already passed the pay force for the bill, so it won't be identical um, to the Senate bill. The House bill ties the transportation funding to a proposal to increase domestic oil drilling. Um, the Senate had looked at a package of tax loopholes they said could be closed. They were both looking for about $10 billion. The Highway Trust Fund, which traditionally funds these uh, bills, is funded with money that's collected by the federal gas tax, and that brings in about $36 billion uh, a year. So they're looking at the gap between that and more than $50 billion that they were both uh, trying to spend per year. Are they looking at a deadline by which time they've got to get a, a highway bill done? Well, the current um, funding and the current orth- authorization for the gas tax expires on March 31st. This is a uh, a bill that was passed, an extension of the last transportation bill um, that expired in 2009. The last extension of it was passed in September, and this is the eighth extension. So if if they don't pass this bill or another extension by March 31st, then these fun- this funding will run out. You can read the Hills Transportation blog at thehill.com and follow Keith Lang on Twitter at klangthehill. Thanks for the update. Thanks for having me. And the House and Senate will return on Monday. Legislative